guys, okay, so this is the second time that I filmed my November favorites. I was not planning on refilming it, but I got dressed today to go off, and our babysitter fell through, and um, our both of our kids aren't feeling well, but the oldest one can't go off, so here I am, dressed, so why not film real fast? So these are going to be my November favorites. That was like all slurred together. These are my November favorites, and I'm just going to jump right in. Um, first things first, I want to talk about the... Um, oh, hold on one second. Okay. Um, I want to talk about the Kat Von D. This is like the Locket Powder Foundation. I hauled this not too long ago, and I have used it every single day. It is amazing. It does such a great job at um, just setting my foundation and concealing some. Like, it does provide coverage, you know, because it's Kat Von D. Of course it does. Um, and as long as you use it lightly, it doesn't look cakey. But I, I know, like, with foundation and such a full coverage powder, um, it can get cakey. So be aware of that. But, um... I have been loving it because, I don't know if I already said this, but the hyperpigmentation, like, it, I just, I love it. Can't say enough about that. I am in shade light 49. Um, I've also been loving um, the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder Pressed. Um... I do want to try the loose version of this because I've been hearing that people love that. I personally don't really like loose. Um, <laughs> hold on. What is it? This is going to be a mommy edition. And he's still in his PJs. I'm not sure if you can see him. Oh, but it's Dallin. Say hey. Hey. Got that tongue out. I'm a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you want to hold this? The, okay, what was that? Oh, I don't personally like the, I mean, loose powders, although I love my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for setting underneath my eye, but I, they're just messy, so I prefer pressed. I, it did have the film on it, so I just took my nail and, like, scratched it to make two little scratches in it. And now I don't even have to dig my brush in it anymore. Like, it just comes off very easily. So, I'm okay with doing two little scratches because I absolutely love it. I love how it just smooths away my fine lines and blurs the pores and here you go. And all that. Um... For bronzer, I got these um, at like 100 perks. This is the the Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. I actually bought two, not bought, but two or three of my 100 perks. I, I don't know. I at least got two of them. Um, and I have been loving it and using it. It's just a gorgeous color. And, yeah. When I run out of these, which who runs on like bronze, it takes forever, especially as many as I have. I, I like it enough to get the full size. For a highlighter, I have really been loving play with this? my Smashbox Shimmer Highlighter. I have literally worn this every single day since I bought it, um, with exception to today because I bought a new highlighter yesterday and, you know, I had to play with it. So, and I, and I like it. I have a, I have a pretty big haul coming. Stuff that I've bought, like, the last month. But I'm waiting on my Sephora package to come in on Wednesday. So, that will be up. That will be my next video, is a haul. And then I'm going to be doing a holiday tutorial, hopefully. And if I don't, there will be a tutorial of some sort coming. I promise. Um... It's overcast here today, so I hope the lighting's okay. But I hate to be, um, I, no, 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 a broken record, but, let me see, what can I, here, right here, 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 here. Benefit Rocketeur, um, it, it's perfect. I've talked about it so many times, I hate to keep mentioning in it, but I would be lying if I tried to say that I'm not still wearing it constantly. 
Um, I have also been using the Tarte Exposed. It's so perfect and natural. Um, it's just, this is one of my all-time favorites. Um, oh, I actually have another one. You see? Um, it is this NARS Hey Boo Boo guy, uh, Burdine, Burdon, not Burdon, Burdine, whatever. Um, this shade here, and I'm not sure what it is, but it's the darkest one that looks kind of scary, but it is gorgeous. I'm actually wearing it today, um, and I love it, obviously. For my eyes. I had to force myself to stop wearing this. I wore it to work probably for a week straight, which is huge because I have so much, so many options. I don't like my makeup just to sit in a drawer. I never want to get to the point to where I have makeup somewhere else that I never get to. So I make a point to rotate and try to use my makeup. Does that make sense? But the, the Lorac unzipped. I did a tutorial on this. I will link that down below. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I will link it down below for you guys. Um, I am going to admit that single eyeshadows, they don't get enough love. Like, when you have all these palettes and all these, you know, and everything's just right there, it's just so much easier to grab a palette. But... Probably, and I feel pretty confident saying this. My, I'm sorry, I'm bouncing him on my leg. Um, would be my favorite single eyeshadow, Stila Kitten. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like, cannot say enough about this eyeshadow. It is expensive, um, but I've just been wearing the heck out of this on my eyelid. Um, touch that. Oh, mascara. I did a, a first impressions of this. Um, this is the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly. I will have it linked down below. I love this stuff. It does. Uh oh, uh oh. What is it? <laughs> it just does such a great job at volumizing and lengthening and separating. I will say that it flakes um, throughout the day some. But that's okay, because I love it so much, I can wipe it away. Um, if you can't stand that, then I would advise you not to get, <laughs> not to get the mascara. Um, I am almost done. Ooh, he is a big boy. He's off the charts. Okay, big boy. The Tarte Poreless, this is just a little um, sample that I got at some point. It's almost gone because I've been using it so much. I am going to buy the, the full size because I, I find that it just um, really helps to lock my makeup in place. Ah, huh? What is it? Dirty face. What is it? Those titties bothering you. Um, are those titties bothering you? Here. <laughs> Two lipsticks. The Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Native is the perfect uh, pinky nude. I have been wearing it every day. It's so work appropriate. It's so easy just to throw on, throw on your purse, and out the door you go. Um, I mean, I've put a major dent. Not dent, but I've used so much of this. I would swatch it, but I'm not real sure how I'd get that to show. Oh, maybe this hand. Here it is. Can y'all see? I just love it so much. Uh-oh. And last but not least, I finally gave in and got the, and I say gave in because I cannot stand the smell of these lipsticks. They remind me of, I don't even know. It's awful. They smell awful and it takes forever for that smell to go away. I'm not even sure if it really ever does go away. Um, but I love the color so much and it's 800 Ferris Nude. It's just one of those really perfect nudes. Um, can you see it? It's this one. Ah, okay. Um, so yeah, those are the two lipsticks that I have used most this month. Um, so yeah, we're going to let you guys go. I'm so sorry for this distraction. I hope y'all don't hate it. He hates it, obviously, but um, yeah, 
be on the lookout for that haul. He's going to knock the camera over. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Mwah.